Hi everybody, this is Sutri Readings. And today this reading is going to be for no sign or all signs, I don't know. Um, we're going to be having a look at you, your person's feelings for you, the outcome. And in your extended, we're going to have a look at the long-term, short-term outcome, their intentions and the advice for you, the energies between the two of you from now till the end of the month. So all that is going to be in the extended. You can purchase if you're interested. I'm going to be linking it down below. So let's see, what are the messages for people watching this video? This may or may not resonate, okay? Even if it just resonates with one person, I will do these because y'all love these and y'all really asked me to keep going with these and make it almost like a series. So I am going to be doing these, okay? And if you have any other requests, you can let me know. Right. Okay, so Page of Pentacles and the Five of Swords fell out. What is this? Who are you dealing with? A Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So to me, this looks like um, somebody is extremely immature and egoistic. Like ego is something that I'm hearing. And you are choosing to walk away or walking away is on your mind. <sighs> And I feel like you also try to fix things with this person. Okay. All right. So you are giving up on this connection, right? And I see you just like turning your back to this person and just focusing on yourself, focusing on your life. Um, you are... I don't know, you're focused on something else in your life, but this is your person's energy, Ace of Cups. Ooh, do they want to really come forward and talk? Yes, they do. That's interesting. The moon. Okay, so to me, this looks like the reason why you decided to let go was, like I said before, they were not being honest with you. There was lack of honesty in this relationship. They turned their back from you. Um... Uh, before but now you are doing that right and this person that you're dealing with i feel like they miss you let me see oh queen of wands and the ace of cups followed by the king of wands and the moon so you two are counterparts to each other there was a time that this relationship was so good when you two and it's still good actually when you two are together there's a lot of passion there's a lot of chemistry y'all are very passionate towards your own life towards yeah, y'all are passionate, assertive, um, optimistic people. But, you know, when you're together, there's a lot of happiness. And it, it really feels like y'all are supposed to be together when y'all are together. But right now, the reason why you're turning your back is because you don't feel like this person was being honest. And this person might be hiding things from you. And also, some of you are going through your own issues internally. Um, so you kind of want to take a step back to focus on yourself whilst, yeah, you, you do view this person as somebody who's extremely dishonest or they did something extremely dishonest. Um, and they basically, even if you view them as a dishonest person, I know you're trying to walk away, but you're not able to walk away. Okay. You're not able to. So there's a lot of back and forth in your energy. Two of Swords. I feel like your person was being emotionally unavailable to you in the past, okay? There could have been a third party as well that you caught them with, maybe. But the reason why this was happening was because they... A, they were egoistic and not giving you the kind of love and attention you wanted. And B, they were not being emotionally available to you. Okay. Page of Cups. That's nice. I feel like you still... Oh, their energy is the lovers. Don't kid. Oh, okay. 
So there's a lot of love. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm not gonna put like anything malicious, <laughs> you know, because there is nothing malicious about it. This just to me looks like a bump in the road or a bump in the relationship because y'all are in love with each other. Clearly, y'all want each other. Y'all are in love with each other. Look at these two gods. Okay, so y'all are really in love with each other. This is your energy towards them and this is their energy towards you. So I feel like you want them to apologize to you or you you, you want to talk to them, right? And your person's like thinking so much about you. Um, I feel like they want to fix things with you. Like I really, really think. Now this cannot be for everybody, okay? I am not saying... I mean, this is common sense. If your person has shown you over and over again that they don't want you or they block you, they keep running away from you, they just hurt you. Why? Why would you do this to yourself again and again? I want to address something before I move ahead with this reading. A lot of people comment on my videos and say that when I say, because see, this person's in love, right? And I have to tell you that they're in love. So... If your person has shown you over and over again that they don't, this reading is not for you, honey. And that does, doesn't mean that there are like, there are so many people in this world, okay? You will find somebody. Now, the purpose of my readings is never to give you false hope. Now, if you are trying to like hold on and, you know, hold on to the false hope, that's your fault, okay? Let's take responsibility here for what I do and for what you do. Of course, if this person's toxic, why would you want to wait for them? Okay, if this person's toxic, why would they be in love with you if they've cheated on you so many times? Of course, then this reading is not for you, right? Um, and I just want to say something to the people who are heartbroken. I will do a reading for you in the future, but... But... You need to... Um, decide for yourself... Because I don't know your person. I haven't met them. They haven't told me anything. These are just the energies that we read for you. How you take them is all up to you. Okay? Yeah, that's it. Let's carry on with the reading. So y'all y'all are in love with each other. You really want to hear from this person. And this person wants to talk to you. Let's see what actions does this person want to take towards you, right? Let's see what actions does this person want to take towards you. Wow. Wow. They want growth. They want expansion. They want this love. Three and six. So, well, they're missing you. They want you. And they want to take things forward with you. That's 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 really interesting. And some for some of you, this person is very money focused, very good with their decision making and their life. But in the past, they have done something. Okay, they have definitely done something to you to give you a reason to be to be like this. Yeah, you even though you wanna even though you you wanna move on and you, you feel like you're done with this, I feel like there's a lot of stress on your part in your life. Like, uh, you feel like some of you're working a lot, but I also think that this is something that you're trying to let go of. But at the same time, you wanna hear from them and you want them to be more open to you, right? What's gonna be the outcome of this situation? What's going to be the outcome? King of Cups. I'm going to say the signs that are here. We have Libra, Gemini, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpios. Um, fire signs. Four of Cups. Why is that Four of Cups in the outcome? Oh. Oopsie, oopsie, oopsie. We have the Devil and the Lovers together in a reading. So look at that. I feel like there is a lot of love and obsession in this relationship. Now, either you are obsessed with them or they are obsessed with you. Somebody is really, really obsessed with another person, thinking so much about the other person. <clears throat> what happened to my voice? Sounding like the grudge. <laughs> um, oh, this came in the outcome. I'm sorry. So I feel like there's fear of missing out okay your person's a little insecure they do take forever to say something but i feel like they want to extend this like 
love offer to you however they they think that they i don't know how to explain this you know when somebody's just being lazy they want to do something but they just they just are being lazy and there's obsessive thinking in this relationship there's love and lust together in this relationship there's a lot of obsessiveness okay tell me more about the four of cups and the devil i feel like they love you and the love is a little bit toxic chariot and the hyphen in the reverse yeah love without commitment that's why it's toxic or that's why you don't want to be in this situation anymore now this could be a friends with benefit that your person your person wants you physically okay or just like they want to be with you they love you they do but being committal is an issue here this person's non-committal and a little bit obsessive now they're also somebody who's very assertive good with their business and their confidence is good but their ego destroys it because they they literally whatever they do is based off of their ego sometimes they would give you the silent treatment sometimes they just i don't know something's very toxic about the situation i feel like some of you don't even know what's so toxic about this why do you keep dealing with this person but then you want this person you want to let go but then you want them so there's a lot of back and forth in this relationship i feel like also dealing with this person makes you feel insecure because when the relationship is going good something happens okay something happens the most like weird thing about this reading is that they're in love with you you're in love with them but you don't feel like they're honest and the reason being is that because they haven't been honest they're a sweet talker for some of you okay there was lack of commitment in this relationship lack of hey let's take this forward hey i love you i want to be with you like that that was missing from this relationship that's why maybe when they come forward and communicate with you because i do see them reaching out to you maybe you will give this a second thought because you just don't trust them enough because of whatever happened you want them to be more honest but whatever has been done has been done maybe there was a third party or maybe they were just closing off because they were busy with something because there was a reason that they were closing off to you we will clarify in your extended why were they closing off to you and why are they non-committal what are their intentions for you and what's the long-term outcome for this okay so and i'm also going to be pulling out love notes for you towards the end of that reading and the advice there's so much more in that reading you can purchase if you like now let's see what's going to be the energy from now till the end of the month between you and somebody let's see what's going to be the energy from now till the end of the month between you and this person oh my god the cards fell out let me see what's going to be the energy from now till the end of the month between you and this person let's see what's going to be the energy strength leo energy cancer taurus capricorn gemini libra oh the high priestess in the reverse so there is a, a communication offer however i see your person holding back a lot before that so even though they want to talk i see them holding back eventually they will talk to you okay but right now from now till the end of the month they're holding back a lot and they're kind of being silent but they are i feel like i actually feel like they want to talk but they're just like not talking because i don't know they're just yeah look at that they're unable to walk away from you or they're unable to process emotions properly the way they're feeling towards you they need time they need more time eventually i do see them opening up to you okay but we'll clarify that in your extended when but yeah i do see you being in a relationship and your money is looking good okay so yeah okay now let's see what are the romance angel oracles saying for you let's see what are the romance angel oracles saying for you 
Let's see where the romance angel oracle saying for you. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Right. Focus more on yourself. Children, maybe some of you have a child with this person. Uh, or they have a child or they behave like a child. I don't know. Um, let's see. Oopsie, oopsie. Give your relationship a chance. Then we have... We have a lot, so let me just like take one more for you to close off the reading. It is safe for you to love. Yes, I feel like at the end of the day, they will reach out to you. They want you, but the thing is that they're taking so long to say this, okay? They're taking so long to say this. Like, look at this, these cards here. There's love, there's obsession, there's lust, there is connection, there's mutual feelings of let's do this, but there's a lot more than that as well in this relationship. Okay? Give your relationship a chance. We will clarify that in your extended though. But I feel like the cards are telling you to take a step back because this person, when they will be ready, they will reach out to you. Because right now, I do just see them thinking and thinking and thinking. Um, they will open up with a high priestess in the reverse. Could be a Pisces, a Leo that you're dealing with. But like I said, they, they operate off of ego. So it's very hard to you know get them to open up sometimes let's see what is the advice for you just for this reading okay um i'm gonna do another advice spread like i said in your extended but let's see what is the advice what is the advice five of cups in the reverse it's time to not feel so sad anymore why okay let go of what doesn't make you happy could be anything not just this person anything okay because I do, I do see you feeling discontent a little bit, feeling out of place, out of balance, okay? So that's about it for this reading. As of now, give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. I will link your extended down below if you're interested. You can purchase that. And you can also watch individual sign readings on my channel. So everything is going to be on my channel. You can watch whatever sign you'd like to watch. Um, that's it. Take care and bye-bye.